Hello rock lovers, let's do a quick fossil hunt. I'm here with my friend Kendra who refuses to be on camera. She's waving. Hi Kendra. Uh, we are, the noise you hear is the highway. We are walking underneath the Texas 130 toll road. We're gonna get down on Onion Creek and look for some fossils. I have had some luck here before in the past. Hopefully we'll have some luck today. And here you can see a couple of the shell fossils that we can find around here. They're very common. And I've taken these back to my lapidary shop and polished them up. They make beautiful specimens, actually. You'd be surprised what's underneath this little shell here. Here's another one of those big fossil shells. This one, though, is nice and thick. Meaty, as I like to say. I can imagine getting this back to the shop and getting a couple slabs off of it and probably making a beautiful cabochon. So I'm gonna take this one back for sure. Now this is probably just some kind of basic oyster shell right here. This might be fun to throw in the tumbler. See if it holds up and takes a shine. Here's another one of those fossil shells, only this one, when I get it wet, you can see it's got some nice pattern on it. This is one that I could take to the shop and just face polish this and it would be really shiny and beautiful. Here's where we are. It's rather dry these days. Some water here, stagnant water. And over there is the Texas Toll Road 130. Kendra's back in there. This is where the fossils are. I think I just spotted another big one right here. Look at that. Check it out. Millions of years ago, that was a living, I would say breathing, but I don't know, I don't know about that, creature. It seems like I'm only finding these shell fossils. I was hoping to find something more interesting like, uh, I don't know, an ammonite or one of those, but I'll take shell fossils all day long if that's all I can find. I like them. I can usually turn them into something interesting in the lapidary shop. And I think I've found another one just right here. Check this out. Very nice looking sample right here. Ancient shell fossil, look at that. I just spotted this. Now, is this a modern animal bone or is it something much older? I honestly don't know. It's probably not old because it's hard to imagine it would be in this condition. Although, I don't know. What kind of bone is this? It's pretty large. Could it be from a cow maybe? I don't know. Boy, if you're into these shells, they are everywhere out here. I don't like them. I'll keep grabbing them and taking them back to the shop to do something with in the lapidary world. Right next to this fossilized tire. Look at that, that shell right there. Yeah, this would be a fun one to clean up. All right, looks like Kendra just found herself a shell. Is that right? Look at that. Uh oh. What do you think? Not a good one, Kendra? I don't know. Is it a shell? It's mighty flat. Turn it over? Huh. I think it is, yes. That's definitely a shell. Yep. Good job. Well, I nearly stepped on this one. Look at that. Will this be a good one? Well, it's not complete. It's hard to find complete fossils out here. You can imagine millions of years of them tumbling down this creek. It's difficult for them to stay intact. Well, it's official. Kendra found the biggest shell fossil. Look at that thing, turn it over. Wow, check that out. She's calling it beginner's luck, but she also found petrified wood today, which I haven't found. I think she's just kicking my butt. Look at that, that is a stunner. That's the biggest one like that I have ever seen. Good job, Kendra. Woohoo! <laughs> Here's that nice chunk of petrified wood that Kendra found. I'm very jealous I didn't find any petrified wood. I found more of the fossilized shells, but she found that big one. So, all in all, Kendra won that contest. I finally picked up something that's not a shell. This is a rock with shells in it. <laughs> so this is some kind of fossil rock. I think those are oyster shells in there. This would be fun to possibly slab and cab or maybe just cut and tumble. Who knows? Whew, we're all finished. It was getting too hot. 
Kendra kicked my butt with that giant shell she found, but we still did good. We found lots of shells and now I'll take them back to the shop and play around with them. Thanks for coming along.